Hi students, welcome in chemistry classes. I am Priyanka Jain and you are watching Organic Name Reaction Mechanism. In our this lecture, we will study about Dieckmann Condensation Reaction. In our last lecture, we have studied about the Claisen Condensation Reaction and Crossed Claisen Condensation Reaction. If you want to see more of the videos on the Organic Name Reaction Mechanism, then you can go to our playlist of Organic Name Reactions. Okay. So today we are studying about Dieckmann Condensation. Actually, Dieckmann condensation is nothing. It is intramolecular Claisen condensation reaction. When we are doing the Claisen condensation reaction within one molecule, then it will be called Dieckmann condensation reaction. So, actually Dieckmann condensation reaction is nothing. It is an intramolecular condensation reaction that is given by diesters. It is given by diesters and it is given in the presence of a base. Okay. The base may be, this is the base. Okay. Now this base may be either sodium or it may be sodium ethoxide or it may be sodium hydride or it may be potassium tertiary butoxide. So when these diesters are treated in the presence of such bases, then they are converted to cyclic beta ketone derivatives. This reaction is known as Dieckmann condensation reaction. Okay. It means whenever diesters in the presence of base are treated, then they are forming cyclic beta ketone derivatives by their intramolecular condensation. This reaction is called Dieckmann condensation reaction. See it's one example. For example, see this one. CH2 whole N. CH2 COO C2 H5 CH2 COO C2 H5 this is our diester okay and it is treated in the presence of C2 H5 O N A here this N this N may be 2 it may be 3 it may be 4 okay so now it is converted to CH2 whole N CH2 CH2 C double bond O. Okay. So, actually this diester is converted to beta ketone derivative, cyclic beta ketone derivative. This reaction is known as the Dieckmann condensation. And this reaction proceeds best when the dibasic acids have 6, 7 or 8 atoms. Because in this cases, 5, 6 or 7 carbon atoms stabilized rings are formed. Okay. Whenever there are 6, 7 or 8 carbon atoms, then they will form a ring of stable number. It means 5, 6 or 7 membered rings are formed. And we know these 5, 6 or 7 membered rings are highly stable. So, in such cases, we are getting a good yield. Okay. But when there are 9 to 10 carbon atoms, then the yield will be very low. Now we come to its mechanism. The mechanism of this reaction is similar to Claisen condensation reaction. See here what is happening. Suppose this is our diester CH2, COO, C2H5, CH2, COO, C2H5. Okay. When we are taking a base C2H5 O minus, then what will this base do? this base will abstract one of the alpha hydrogen atom. Okay. So, we can make this hydrogen like this. We can make the hydrogen here. Okay. This is alpha hydrogen. Okay. So, what will happen? This base will attack on this hydrogen. Okay. So, this bond will move here. Okay. So, what we are getting? We are getting an ion, carbon ion. Okay. Here we are getting negative charge. This is called enolate anion. Okay. This is enolate anion. Now what will happen? This enolate anion will attack on this carbon atom. Okay. And we can make it in this manner. Okay. So what will happen? This negative charge is attacking on this carbon atom. So this bond will move like this. Okay. This bond is moving like this. So, what is happening? See here, this will remain as it is. Okay. 
this is CH2 group and this bond. There is a bond formation between this carbon and this carbon. Okay, so this is our carbon and there is bond formation. Here is O minus and this is OC2H5. Okay, now in the next step, what will happen? This negative charge will attack in this manner and this group will go outside. Okay, so there will be the removal of OC2H5 minus group. Okay, so we are getting CH2 whole and CH COO C2H5 C double bond O and here CH2. In this manner, we are getting cyclic ketone derivative. Now, this compound can undergo hydrolysis and decarboxylation to give cyclic ketone. It means when we are doing this hydroxylation and then decarboxylation, then this group will get removed. Okay, and then we are getting cyclic ketone. Actually, this deep one condensation reaction works well with 5 to 6 membered rings. When a 5 to 6 membered ring is formed, then this reaction is very good. Even in the 7 membered rings, this reaction goes good. But it does not go good in the 8 membered ring. For example, if we are taking C2H5O, C double bond O, CH2 whole 7, COO, C2H5. If we are taking this one and we are taking it with the NaH and HOH plus SCl, then we are getting this product. See here, we are getting 8 membered ring like this double bond O, COO, C2H5. But the yield of this product is very low 49% yield. Okay, so if we are preparing the 8 membered rings, then the yield will not good. Actually, 5 membered rings, 6 membered rings and 7 membered rings are formed very easily. But 8 membered, 9 membered rings are not formed so easily. So, this method is good for forming 5 to 7 membered rings. If we are forming small rings, then also we cannot use Dickmann condensation because in the case of small rings, there will be strain in the ring. So, this ring will be unstable. So, we cannot use it for making small rings and we cannot use it to form 9 to 12 membered rings. Okay. It can be used only for 5, 6 and 7 membered. Alright. Now, see its application. Actually, this method affords a very good method for the synthesis of cyclopentanones and cyclohexanone derivatives. For example, if we want to prepare natural products and there we have to prepare the 5 or 6 membered rings then we can prepare with it. For example, if we have to prepare steroids. Okay. In steroids actually you see 5 membered rings, 6 membered rings. There you can prepare the rings. For example, see one of the steroid preparation. See here. This is diester. Okay. And we are treating it in the presence of base. C2H5 ONA. Okay. So, what will happen here? Here at this position, this is CS3. Okay. And at this position, in this manner, this ketone group is formed, cyclic ketone group is formed. Okay. The rest thing will remain as it is. Okay. Now, it can be treated with S3O plus and secondly, it undergoes decarboxylation. So, what we are getting ultimately? We are getting this 5 membered ring. That is a property of the steroids. Okay, so it is highly used in preparing steroids. Similarly, it can be used for the preparation of keto esters. If we have to prepare keto esters, then also it can be used. So, here what you are getting? C2H5 and Firstly, it is treated with H2O, it means it undergoes hydrolysis and then decarboxylation. So, this COOR group get removed and what we are getting? C2H5 and in this way, we can prepare keto esters. Okay. So, this is whole about the Dieckmann condensation reaction. 
and its application. Okay, hope you all get understand and like this video. If you are liking, please comment me, please share the videos, please subscribe the channel. Thank you.